I'm Jane Shaw MacDonald, and I'm a doctoral student at the University of Ottawa studying with Dr. Eve Burgo and Dr. Fritjof Lutcher. I am using a numerical approach to studying moving habitat models. So the motivation I will give you is of the American lobster. You can see that in 1967, it was more abundantly found in the su these southern regions along the United States coastal re uh, region than in 2014, where it was found more northern. This is because the water here remained at a, a good temperature for the lobster to, a suitable temperature for the lobster to move to through its life stages into maturity. Whereas in these more southern regions in 2014, the water became too warm too soon. So the mathematical model is a partial differential equation um, called the reaction diffusion equation. It's parabolic. Uh, you have a bounded domain where you have movement and growth. Growth is nonlinear. And as well in the unsuitable domain outside this bounded area or unsuitable habitat outside this bounded area, you have movement, but you have linear depth. Then across this interface, which is explicitly given in the model, you have a discontinuity of density. This comes from preference, possible preference for the bias or a possible preference for um, the uh, suitable habitat and as well differing diffusion rates. For flux, we see that um, we don't only have the uh, directional derivative appearing here, but we also have density. And C, C is a, the rate of change of gamma t. And so this comes into play because this is moving. So these two things make it a particularly interesting mathematical, um, uh, mathematical problem, the movement of the interface and the discontinuity of the density. These two things also make it particularly interesting um, in terms of the numerics. So how do you approach this? Well, for some preliminary results, I looked at the 1D problem. And so we have uh, the interface conditions starting here at time zero and uh, ending over here at, at a later time t equal to 100. So in this case, the trailing edge is moving slower than the uh, leading edge, and that's good for the population. We see the population density is high, remains high. Now, these are um, uh, things that I will use to study the 2D problem will be a finite element method. This will be um, easier to, to capture the essential boundary conditions uh, for the jump at the interface as well. Uh, in that way, I can triangulate inside omega naught separately from omega one. Um, I will use an ALE description of motion so that I can work in a reference domain and adaptive meshing to be able to capture the movement of the interface and as well any steep gradients. 